Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So I want to talk about one subject in this update, and that is the city's annual budget. Now before you go changing the channel, because this may not be the most exciting topic, um, hold on one second, because it's a really important one. It's our tax dollars and how they're spent and the services that we get from city government. So let me just talk to you a little bit of, about it. In the last couple of years, of course, in the pandemic, um, the city budget has struggled to, to keep up. Uh, not as much money has come in for a whole variety of reasons having to do with the pandemic. Um, but we've been able to manage those effects of the pandemic pretty well. Uh, we've been able to continue to deliver the services that our residents deserve. But at the same time, we've avoided layoffs that uh, of a type that lots of other cities have had to go through. So here we are, we're coming out of the pandemic now, and so then what? Well, we're still feeling some of the effects of uh, the money that uh, didn't come in over the last uh, year or so. So we're, we're having to be uh, conservative again. We're helped by the fact that we have some federal money, from the American Rescue Plan Act, the ARPA funds that we've talked about before, those have come in. Those help bridge the gap between now and when those funds will be exhausted in the next couple of years. So that, that helps. Our goal really is to continue to provide uh, great services, of course, and to do so without imposing uh, on taxpayers. Uh, so this year's budget totals $471 million, almost a half a billion dollars now in the city's budget. The, um, the budget itself is comprised of a, a, a number of big categories. But the biggest category, I'm going to show you to a chart right here. Um, the biggest category in blue at the bottom is the school department. And then there are a number of other mandatory spending items that are right here in the other pieces of the pie. When you get to this point in the pie, this right here, this green slice, is the uh, represents the three public safety departments in the city, police, fire, and emergency medical services. And this pie right here, which is about the slice, size of, uh, proportionally the, the size of a pizza slice, like one eighth of the whole thing, uh, that right there represents 28 municipal departments. Uh, things like the library and, and uh, public infrastructure, the health department, and everything else, uh, the, the solicitor's office, you, you name it. I mention all this as, as you look at this, when we talk about the city budget, so much of this just about all of this is spoken for, right? So you have one quarter total that represents the operating departments, and then you got three here that provide basic city safety services. And then everything else we do is in this, this one slice. When we talk about efficiencies and shaving things off the budget and making cuts, we're really only talking about this general area. Healthcare is spoken for, pensions are spoken for, mandatory county assessments are spoken for. That's things like payments to Vogue Tech and to, um, um, and, and to Bristol County. So because we're dealing with this one small slice, uh, when, when you cut a department's operating budget, it may be the, the savings that results from the whole pie is, can be very small, but on that, uh, for that particular department, it could be huge, right? So if you closed, I'm not saying I'm doing this, but if you closed a library, um, you would barely see it as savings in this whole uh, chart. But if you close the library, that's a big deal to a neighborhood. It's a big deal to all the library users. So I, I say all this because, um, you know, the discussion around municipal finances, as important as it is, is often obscured by, um, you know, different positions that, that uh, elected officials take. And that's all, it's all part of the democratic uh, process. And they say that budgets are a statement of, of, a, of a city's values and, the, and that they are. But in getting to the point where we actually make that statement, we actually formulate the budget, it's so important for, for folks to understand uh, just a basic set of facts that, uh, that we're dealing with. And the reality is that we don't have a whole lot of discretion on the budget. So much of it is, is already established by state law. So um, the good news is that the economy is picking up, that we are seeing uh, things getting back on their feet. The unemployment rate is all the way down to 5% now, which is really low for us. And um, there's, there's a number of great developments happening in the city. The, the municipal golf course, uh, industrial park that we've talked about, which we call the advanced manufacturing campus, great, a great deal of development on the waterfront, 
and, and more development still across the city. So that you know, will help expand our tax base in the long run. That's why we put a lot of time and effort into it. So um, over the next few weeks, uh, you'll hear uh, debates before the city council about the budget. I just invite everybody to tune in to those debates and, and, um, and listen up to them as, they, uh, as, as things move along. And, um, and um, you know, if you have questions, please feel free to email me if, you have, if, you, uh, if there's anything that's not clear about them. We want to do our, uh, the best job possible uh, we can to, uh, to ensure that the public, uh, all of our residents understand uh, how, this, uh, how their taxpayer dollars are being used. With all that, uh, more to come on the budget, but uh, for now, that's the Mayor's Weekly Update.